Hey everybody, welcome to Scratch Game Making lesson number two. And I'm just going to review what we did a little bit last week so you can see it. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. Last week we programmed a sprite, not necessarily this dragon, but a sprite that we were able to move around the screen like this and then shoot. It's lagging right now. There we go. Okay, so I'm using the space bar to have my fire come out. I'm using my arrow keys to move around, and then I have my hyperspace. Then I go to a random position. Okay, and yeah, yeah, I'm flying upside down. Yes, I know. All right, now today what we're going to do is work on having this dragon catch these dragonflies. Okay, and we're going to program that dragonfly so that it moves around and that it will basically disappear when the dragon hits it, okay? So I'm gonna work on that code. This is the code from last week. And again, if you did not finish last week's, that video is up. And hold on, let me go to fifth grade. I'll show you where that video is. That video would be right here, Scratch Lesson Game Making number one. The video is there for you to watch if you need to watch that one. Today we're gonna to work on the dragonfly. And we're also gonna put a scoreboard up, which is which is gonna be really cool. So first let's start out with, let me zoom in a little bit. Let's start out with a green flag and let's work on that scoreboard. This is a new thing. Okay, so we're gonna to go to variables. And when we go to variables, we're gonna click this one called make a variable. And then I'm gonna type in the word score. That's the variable we're making. And I'm gonna hit okay. I'm now going to grab this one that says set my variable to zero, and I'm going to change it to score. So basically, every time you hit the green flag, the score is going to go back to zero. That's basically what this means. Okay. And remember, we are programming the dragonfly right now. So we are going to start out with the green flag is, is hit. He's going to go to a random position, and we're going to let's have him turn. Let's have him fly and turn through the air. Okay. Next, we're gonna grab a forever block. And we are gonna have this, let's throw some more motion in there. Move around and of course, if you hit the edge, we want you to bounce. So let's take a look at what this looks like right now. Okay, all right, so that's basically what we did. So you can see every time he's hitting, he's turning upside down, he's flying. Now, if you wanna adjust the speed of that, let's click right here and you can make it five, okay? Because what that's doing is it's going five steps over and over, five steps over and over, over and over, over and over. And this random position, this is he's going to always start in a random position. He's going to turn. And you can see our scoreboard was now added up here. Okay, I'll, I'll put that on large screen for you. You can see the scoreboard is up there. Okay, now we didn't, we didn't start anything yet, but you'll see that's the next piece of code. All right, so now we're going to put this code on the side. And we're gonna bring out another green flag. And we're gonna do it so that the dragonfly is gonna disappear, right? So if we do that, we know we're gonna need a show and a hide. Let's bring out the show and hide. Okay, now they're not necessarily gonna to go together. So when the green flag is clicked, we want the dragonfly to show. Then we're gonna grab a forever block, okay? And then we need an if then block to make something have a reaction to the other one. Okay, and then you can see that this nice shape is right here, this uh, hexagon. So we're gonna go into the sensing code and we're gonna grab out the touching mouse pointer one and put it right into that hexagon. Now, the thing is with this, we're gonna change it to dragon. So basically what this is saying is that if the dragonfly touches the dragon, then we're going to have it hide, okay? We're going to have it hide, and we're going to put that in the forever block so that it happens the whole time. Now, we want it to, you know, we kind of want it to show again. So what we're going to do is we'll throw a control on there to wait. Maybe we'll have it wait 10 seconds, and then we'll have it show. Okay, so, so let's read the code so far. When the green flag is clicked, show the dragonfly. For the entire time, if it touches the dragon, then it will hide. 
wait 10 seconds, and then show. Now we have to add something in here for the scoreboard so that it gives it a point. So let's go back to variables, okay? And we're going to look for the change score, change variable. So we're going to put that one there, and we're going to make it score. Change score by one. So if the dragon touches the dragonfly, it's going to change the score by one. It's going to hide. It's going to wait 10 seconds, and then it's going to show. Now, we can also add a sound as well. So if we want it to make some sort of a sound when it gets eaten. Okay, so let's go to... Hmm. Oh. Let's go with a croak. So I'm going to go to sounds. Play sound croak. We'll put that right there. All right, let's hit the green flag and let's see. Oh, I already ate him. So let's wait 10 seconds. In 10 seconds, we should see that come out. Oh, there he is. Got him. And look at the score. It went up to two. All right, let's put this on full screen. So I'm, I'm going around, yada, yada, yada. Here he goes. There he is. Got him. Okay, now, no fun with just one dragonfly, right? So we have our code here. All you simply have to do is this. Now, hmm, he is only going back and forth. I don't like that. Let's fix that first. I think the random position might need to enter the forever block. Let's try that. Oh, did you see how fast that went? Let's make that one step. Oh, I see why it's going too fast because the random position is just going to go on and on. It's going to go so fast. You can't control that. All right, let's take the random position out. And we're going to give him a starting spot. That's what we're going to do. Let's hit stop. Okay, and let's give the dragonfly. No, you can't see him. He's disappeared right now. Let's go back to motion and give him a starting spot, and then that should work. And let's get that 15 degrees out of there and put that back up there. And let's make that five steps again. And there we go. Let's see. Okay. Kind of what I'm going for. And then when we hit stop, we hit start again. It's going to start at another position. Okay. Now, let's do this. Right-click on the dragonfly over here. Duplicate. Right-click. Duplicate. Right-click. Duplicate. Right-click. Duplicate. Watch. Stop. Start. Oh, yeah. Now, you could try to see, since you have 10 seconds to get all of them to disappear before they start reappearing. That could be the game. Let's add a few more. All right, and we can go full screen with this, and you can see. Oh, see, they're, just, they're coming back. Can I get that one? I got him. Oh, and then they came back. But it looks like I did it, though. All right, fun. So I want you guys to play around with this today. We can leave this code up on the board so you can copy it. Okay, and you can look at it. Again, these numbers are not going to be the same for you. All right, this, again, is how you put in the score there, those two orange blocks. Those are brand new for us. And, of course, if you're still working on your sprite from last week, you got to go back and watch that video. And, of course, this will be called name project number two. But you already know that since you're watching this video. 
All right, guys, have a great day, and I will see you soon.